Okay, hello everyone. <clears throat> Today we will be covering the next problem in homework set five. So to start this off, uh, it's problem 2.3-12. And so I've set that out. Um, this picture isn't exactly what the book has. I just drew it kind of quick. I think it's also a force here. Um, okay, but let's just start off. So in Part A, it says, if shortening of the bar is limited to eight millimeters, find uh, D max uh, of the hole, right? So we're trying to find um, this guy right here, right? Let's we'll call it D3 or whatever. Okay, so to start this off, we're using the idea that uh, the elongation, right? I think in the previous video I called it deflection. Well, the better way is saying elongation equation, right? So the elongation is equal to the force L um, over EA, right? Okay, so that's the equation we're going to be using. We're going to be using the idea that we can add them together. Right, so if we look at this, it's kind of broken up into three parts, right? So we have part one, which is this section right here, right? Where it's, if we were to do a cross section, it's the circle with a hole in it, right? So that's this first part, part one, right? And then in part two, right, you've gone past the hole and now we're getting, and it's just a circle. Right, if we looked at the cross section. And then this last part, part three, it's just a smaller circle, okay? So we can break this up uh, into its individual uh, elongation pieces. It's like elongation one, elongation two, elong elongation three, okay? So now if we do, we add all of these equations up, they will equal the total elongation, uh, or in this case, since you have two forces pushing on either side, right, it's gonna be a shortening, which is what they're asking for. <clears throat> so if you add them all up, you'll find out how much it's been shortened to, right? So if we do that, so um, they say that the deflection or the elongation, the shortening is this eight millimeters, okay? So we're gonna write that as what our total is. I'm just gonna jump ahead with that. And then we're gonna be adding up each part. So for this first part, right, it's our force, which is gonna be our P, which they tell us is gonna be 110 kilonewtons. Okay, so I'm gonna write 110. And then we have length. Length of this is L over four, L is 100 meters, so that, that just becomes divided by four, that's 300 millimeters, okay? And then we're gonna continue and we have E, E they say is four gigapascals. And then now we're gonna do um, the area, right? So the area is just a big circle, um, minus a little circle, right? So we're just gonna do that real quick. So um, that is pi um, 100, computer's a bit slow, divided by four uh, minus pi 30 um, squared over four, right? So that's just diameter, pi diameter squared divided by four for a circle, right? So now we have that first guy, and then we're gonna add up the second one, which is same force. The length is the same, L over four, right? So that's, so the 300 millimeters, gigapascal four, and we have pi, now the diameter is just the 100, squared over four, okay? So that's our second elongation. That's the second part elongating. 
shortening, I guess, in this case. And then the last part, uh, okay, we have the same force. Uh, this time, the length is L divided by 2, so we're going to have um, 600. Um, Um, okay, and then that's just going to be 4 um, pi, and then it's, I don't really give us a 60. Okay, and then so you're going to have all of that. Um, and whoops, I jumped a little bit right here. It's not actually 30. Sorry about that, guys. It's going to be the diameter that we're looking for. So that's diameter three. Sorry about that. So now I'm just going to simplify this equation up just a little bit. So let's see here. Um, I'm just going to clear this stuff away. That's fine. Um, and now I'm just going to simplify this. Okay, so now that's going to simplify into 8 is equal to 1,000 or I've just taken out the pi over 4, and now it's just the 100 squared minus the diameter 3 squared, right? And then I've simplified all these, just put them in the number value. Six. Okay, and then we can just simplify this guy again, and that's just going to be one three is equal to this three is equal to zero, zero over. And you cancel out the pi, the fours, and I just have pi times one hundred squared minus e three squared. Okay, and now you can bring this up. So you can bring that whole chunk over there, right? So then that's going to go to pi times, well, we're going to leave the pi over there. Let's say 1.13 times 100 squared minus d squared 3, right? Let me just hide this and shift this up. Okay, so we've got to that point. Um, it's equal to the 330 pi k, and we can just continue with this, simplify it a little bit more. So now we have 4, 0 is equal to 100 squared minus d squared. Okay, and once again, we straightforward. You can just add the 100 squared over and simplify it, and you will get d3. It's going to equal to 23.87, which is going to be that max amount that the that little hole that's cut out can be. Okay, so now on to part B. Um, so now, if we're going to look at this, right, this time they've told us what D3 is, right, and they want to know from NC what distance B. So if we're looking like that, we're going from NC distance B over. So we want to know some sort of distance um, can be applied to that that will make it so that the shortening is only that amount. Right, so similar setup as before. So we have eight, and this time we're gonna continue with adding up the different chunks, right? We had uh, one, two, and then this time three, it's gonna be an unknown length, right? So that's gonna be our unknown this time. So we're gonna go straight forward. I'm gonna just start writing this out in a similar fashion as the last one. Um, it's the same, same force, um, you yeah, have the same, length for these first two guys, right? Um, you have, I'm going to bring out 
um, for, and I'm going to bring up the, the pi on this one, uh, just to simplify things a little bit. So then, because it's the area, you have the modulus velocity, which is 4, and then area is pi uh, diameter squared over 4, right? So I just took out the pi. Um, so yeah, so it's 100 squared over 4 um, minus, so then we have the new d3, which is going to be just 60 divided by 2, so that's diameter 34, okay, reminder, I've just taken out the pi, there would be a pi on all those, okay, so, and you have that, we have 110, and that's 100, this is part two, of course, and then we have our four, I've taken out the pi once again, uh, oh, this one doesn't really matter, 100 to the second, and four, perfect, um, and then this last section, we are un it is unknown what the total length is. So I'm going to say we have the force, and then we have some length L, right? And then we have 4 pi, and then it's 60 is diameter squared over 4. Okay, so we're going to go about simplifying this just a little bit, okay? So we're going to say 8 is equal to, and I'm just going to solve all these guys real quick, 154 um, plus 105, and then this is simplified as possible, it gets us 0 0.0097, and then our variable, which is the length. All right, from here, pretty straightforward, we solve for what the length is, and we find that the length is going to be equal to, um, let's see, Five, nine, four, okay. And that is in millimeters, right? So that's that's the length. So if we're looking at this problem, um, let's see here. I'm gonna hide that. I'm gonna shift this up just a little bit. Okay, so looking at this, right, we have that whole section right there, and then it comes out here. And we have that. Um, that's a terrible drawing. I apologize. Um, okay, so we have that, right? And they want to know, so we know that this total is over 2. Um, and we've just solved for length. So that is going to get us um looking at the problem we have our no so what's the change in length basically because we have our this is l over two is our old l and then we have our new l um, which is how much we're either going to stretch or shrink it right so if we want to find out what b is b is just going to be equal to l over two minus the new L, right? And we're going to find that that um, is our previous uh, L, that's just 600 minus the 5, and we're going to find that B is equal to 4.155 millimeters. So that's how you do that section. And then we're just going to go on right away to this last part. Um, so in section C, finally, if flows P are applied at the ends and we're given what D3 is, what is the permissible length X of the whole if shortening is to be limited to that amount? Okay, so now we are looking at what this guy is. We're looking at that X. Um, okay, so... Now, this gets a little trickier because not only does this mess with that, this also messes with this length right here, right? So um, what we're going to look at is if we look at this total length, right, the total length of it initially, 
is gonna be L over two, right? So we know that that's set, but now the whole length has changed. So we know this first part, part one, is gonna be, um, it's gonna be equal to X, that's the length, right? And we know that, so in part two, we know that the total length is going to be L over two, right? But it's for part two, it's going to be L over two minus X, right? So then that's what our new length for part two is. And then part three uh, has not changed at all. Okay, so we're going to go forward from here. And let's see, I'm gonna just clean this stuff up a little bit. Um, oop, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so we are dividing everything up once again. So if we look at this into our different sections, we have elongation is eight, right? And going to look at this and we're going to say section one is going to be the uh, 110 times the 300 it's a bit big um, and then it's the 4 pi times uh, 100 squared over 4 minus and then in this case um, we know what the diameter is, three squared over four. Oops, sorry, I already am blinking. That's not 300 because we don't know what the length is. That length is X. And then we're adding that. Now we're into our second part, which is gonna be 110. And then it's L over two. If we remember L over two minus X, right? So if we look at that, that's gonna be our L over two is gonna be 600 minus X, which is the variable that we want to know. And then on the bottom, it's just that four, uh, pi hundred squared over four. And then again, with this third part, this part we already know everything is the length of 600, right? We have modulus elasticity and then 60 squared over pi, okay? So now I'm just going to simplify this up. That's a zero. Um, so if we simplify this up, we have 8 and we have 0.0038x plus 0.0035 one. Um, and then inside there, it's the 600 minus x. And then this last part is completely known, 5.835. Okay, so that's simplified. Once again, just some more simplification. So we have this, and then now if we just simplify it one last time, we have 183.3 millimeters. Um, and that is how you do the final problem for homework set two. Okay, guys. Um, I am going to continue to improve the video quality. Um, right now, I'm just kind of experimenting um, with different uh, techniques and just kind of playing around. So if you guys have any feedback, let me know. I'm going to try and clean things up a, a bit more um, and see about the recording time for these videos as well. So thank you for watching. And uh, you'll probably see me in later videos as well. So thank you and goodbye.